The wars in the Middle East are just getting more and more dangerous, not only with Lebanon, but now with Iran. Iran has sent about 180 missiles into Israel yesterday, but Iran is focusing on military targets and trying not to hit civilians. This is in response to various provocations from Israel, including assassinations of key Iranian and Lebanese leaders. Netanyahu has been trying to drag the U.S. into a war with Iran for years. And unfortunately, there are many members in this Congress right here who are all too eager to go along with him. Let's look at some of their remarks. We have Representative Moskowitz, who said that Iran's nuclear facilities are fair game. Let's remember that it's Israel that has nuclear weapons, not Iran. We have Representative Lawler, who said that Biden should be ready to strike back what would that do? It would encourage Iran's allies in the region to strike U.S. soldiers in the region. And then we have Warhawk Lindsey Graham, who says that we should bomb their oil facilities, which has led to speculation that Iran or Iran's allies would then bomb oil facilities throughout the region, leading to a worldwide oil disaster. And finally, we have Senator Wicker, who is important because of his position on the Armed Services Committee, who openly says that we should push for regime change in Iran, forgetting the disastrous attempts at regime change that the U.S. did recently in Iraq, in Libya, in Afghanistan, and also forgetting that the present government in Iran is there precisely because of the U.S. overthrowing their democratically elected government in 1953. So we need you to join us as we're going around to Congress, asking them to put out different kinds of statements, saying that we want to live in peace, that we want to stop supporting the genocide that Israel is carrying out, saying that we don't want any more weapons sent to the region. So call your member of Congress and tell them, we, the American people, don't want war with Iran. We want to live in peace. Thank you.